So the journey here started with me proposing to Mel back in March 2018. It was done very romantically, even if I do say so myself, <laughs> as I handed Mel a cup of tea 8 a.m. in the morning. 9 a.m. that morning, Mel got started with the wedding research. <laughs> Maybe we are supposed to have loved others before we meet the right one, so that when they finally arrive, we're truly grateful for the gift we've been given. Maybe it's true we don't know what we've lost until we lose it. But it's also true we don't know what we're missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't have the best of everything, but make the best of everything that comes their way. Maybe the best kind of love is the kind where you sit on the sofa together, not saying a word, and walk away, feeling like it was the best conversation you ever had. Maybe once in a lifetime you find somebody who not only touches your heart, but also your soul. Somebody who loves you for who you are, not what you could be. Maybe the art of true love is not about finding the perfect person, but about finding an imperfect person and seeing them perfectly. Hi Dave. Take you Melissa. Take you Melissa. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God I make this man. In the presence of God, I make this bow. Hi, Melissa. Take you, Dave. Take you, Dave. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God I make this vow. In the presence of God I make this vow. Dave and Melissa have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Dave, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Traditionally, I suppose to give newlyweds some advice on marriage, but with the past history of myself, Jackie, Melissa and Dave, I'm going to give that a miss. <laughs> As a toast, please take up your glass and join with Jackie and myself to wish Dave and Melissa a long and happy marriage. Melissa and Dave. I'd like to thank my new wife for agreeing to marry me. I'm sure you'll all agree with me, she, she does look simply stunning today. <laughs> Mel and I have been together for several years and I can honestly say I'm the happiest I've ever been with much of that down to the impact Mel has had on me. To describe Mel, I'd say she's a fiercely independent, strong woman who knows what she wants and knows how to make things happen to get it. I'd also say she talks way too much. 
A big part of the success of our relationship is independence. We both have our own lives and both appreciate how that helps our lives together be stronger and more special. Everyone knows Mel is hugely driven and strong-willed, achieving more most weeks than most people that I know. And I'm sure everyone will recognise my description of Mel. But what I love even more is how much Mel cares for and helps the people close to her. And that includes me. I couldn't have asked for a more supportive partner through Dad's passing and Mum's illness. For us, I know the road ahead won't be plain sailing. It never is. And you can't have the highs without the lows. But I do know how strong our love and relationship are and how much Bella and I respect each other. I'm certain whatever life throws at us from here on in will come out the other side stronger. After all, that's what we've done so far. Can we please raise a toast to the bride? I'd like to start by saying how great you both look today. Mel, you look beautiful as always, and well done on arranging this fantastic weekend with absolutely no help from your husband. <laughs> and can we have a huge round of applause for Mel for arranging everything for this weekend? <laughs> I'm really pleased that we're all gathered here today. Dave's a great bloke and Mel's a great lady. They're a perfect match and they deserve the wonderful future I know they're going to share together. People often fear growing old and I remember heading into my 40s feeling so happy and that was because I was heading into it with my best friend and soulmate by my side. As the past years have taught us, we never know what's around the corner I can genuinely say that whatever life holds, good or bad, I feel it will be okay because I have my Bungle Bear. So the final toast has to be to raise a glass to Bungle Bear. Thank you.